Sudden Death is a recently released military thriller about the war in Afghanistan, and the profits from its sales won't go to the author, but to the USO's Wounded Warrior Fund. Retired Brigadier General and now author Anthony J. Tata is with us this morning. Good morning and thanks for being hey, good here. Good morning, Jose. Thanks for having me. <laughs> How's the new hat author fitting you? <laughs> well, you know, I like it. Uh, it's, I've written all my life and I enjoy uh, writing Sudden Threats, the first in a series of four books. And, and so Rogue Threat will be out uh, this September, but Sudden Threat uh, has a special place in my heart because I dedicate it to three soldiers of mine who were killed in combat, two in Iraq, one in Afghanistan. I'm sorry to hear that. Now, this is a military Terry Thriller. Give us a little bit of an idea what it's about. Well, uh, yeah, as we uh, focused in the Middle East, uh, in Afghanistan and in Iraq, uh, and we saw France and Germany sort of defect from the coalition as we were getting ready to go to Iraq, the creative side of me said, well, what if an uh, ally did more than defect and they actually uh, did a Machiavellian uh, move to uh, seize some terrain and, and uh, get some resources and help themselves? And so that's what this book is all about, our focus in the Middle East. Uh, one of my heroes, uh, Matt Garrett, there's two brothers, Matt and Zach Garrett, and uh, they, uh, one's a CIA operator, one's an Army officer, and they get caught in the crossfire of this conspiracy. Amazing. I want to ask, did the 9-11 attacks influence your writing of this book? Well, uh, absolutely, it, it did. Uh, the 9-11 attacks influenced it in that I was part of the way through this story, and I couldn't write for about a year after 9-11, particularly because I was in combat and doing some other things. But uh, the, the visceral feel of, of, of us being attacked, I had to stop what I was doing, and this creative side of me uh, was sort of shunted as I uh, really uh, spent 24-7 getting after the business of killing al-Qaeda and Taliban and, and so forth. Now, General, first off, Thank you for your service, but I also want to ask about what you're doing with the proceeds from the sales of the books. Well, uh, the book release party was in November, Jose, and uh, I partnered with the USO Metro DC to have the book release party. They ran the whole thing. We had about 150 people there. We raised, Jose, $15,000 for the hospital services fund for the USO Metro DC. And what they do is they take soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines out of Walter Reed or Bethesda, take them to sporting events, take their families out shopping during these months of rehabilitation that these uh, troops are going through that have really made a heavy sacrifice on our behalf. And so then after the great feeling of giving that $15,000 check to the USO Metro DC, I said all the, all the proceeds from this book are going straight to uh, the USO Metro DC so they can help those soldiers that I've served with. That is amazing. Now I need to ask, why are you here in our area? Well, I'm here in uh, Houston studying with the Broad Superintendents Academy to uh, one day become an urban uh, school district superintendent. And, and uh, so that is going to be my next uh, career, my next phase of my life, is uh, helping uh, children uh, close those achievement gaps. And I'll tell you what uh, got me involved in this, is as I was in Afghanistan a year and a half, two years ago, the Taliban attacked schools, they killed teachers, and it just uh, had this visceral reaction in me that education is the way of the future, and the enemy doesn't want people to be educated. So... Uh, take my passion uh, for 28 years I've had with the military and shift it over to uh, being a superintendent of an urban school district. General, thank you so very much for joining us here. What you're doing, not just with your personal life, but also with the proceeds for the book, very, very admirable because the soldiers coming back from war really do need the help, and now you're making it a lot easier for them and their families. Uh, Jose, thanks for all you do to get the word out. Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. Now, we want to let you know that the book is titled Sudden Death. It's now available in bookstores, and remember, all of the proceeds from the sales go to the USO Wounded Warrior Fund. Again, General, thank you for joining us. Thank you.